Young vs. True. Starting to the bottom left of the uh, map, we have our Terran player. It is his map choice after he lost to True on Daedalus Point. This is Ryung. And the big question is will True also get a camera shot this time? Starting to the top right, we have our Zerg player starting in red here for his generic green wings. Generic green wings, and there he is, handsome as usual. Very handsome. Mech or not to mech? That is usually not the question on this map. Usually it's a given. Although we did see Dream decide not to mech here and actually cost him the series, and now he's in the losers match. Not that that particular choice cost him the series, but it was uh, a choice that led him down a, a downward spiral of uh, not being able to control the map. And there's the gas for Ryung. We'll be doing Reaper opening for sure. Mm -hmm. And then likely to go to Banshees. Whether yep. or not he does it uh, with mech or not is yet to be seen. I like Banshee play. The one thing that I really, really... Like, I have to admit that uh, the game that I so far in the Terran vs. So series that we had in this group liked the most was the first map that we saw between Hydra and Dream just because of how Dream controlled the map. That was actually beautiful to watch and very, very impressive. He fell off completely after that and Hydra took the series and uh, rightly so because uh, after that Dream just wasn't on the same level anymore. He didn't play on the same level as he did in game number one. But I would love to see uh, Ryang attempting to emulate that just to go in and try to play the style with his Banshees with the uh, with the Reapers there and the Hellions and just trying to really pressure the Zerg from the get-go, try to control the creep spread and the pace of the game. If a Terran player can do that, it's always so impressive to me. Yeah. Um, I agree with you as well. I mean, when you watch that happen, it feels like it feels like the Zerg is helpless if you execute it just right. I think... Uh, no, we'll, we'll just wait and see. The first Reaper is already coming out. And back at home, we have Gas up for True. So he's going to be able to get speed out very early, which is pretty important in uh, getting the Lings over there to help out. And he will commit to a second Reaper as well, unless he's invent reinventing the wheel, which he's not. So there's the second Reaper on the production tab. The first few links here are actually a little bit late compared to uh, what he would normally have because he got that gas so early. So he's going to have to maybe even make extractors or spores to save his first drone. Yeah, it just pulls back for now. Two Zerglings are not going to be enough. If you had two Zerglings and you're chasing after a Reaper, you feel you uh, you have a little bit of a death wish. So with the next two coming out, of course, that's going to change really fast. But that's always the spot where the Zergling can just turn around and you're like, really, dude, you want me to chase that? Yeah, that's probably not going to end well for me. You realize that, right? That's like me trying to chase like an Olympian runner. I'm like, well, he could, <laughs> he could actually kill me, but like, I'm never going to catch him. Also, <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Those Olympian runners are pretty, pretty thin. I think you could take one. Maybe. Maybe so. Especially if I had a weapon. Baseball bat. The Korean commentators are getting really excited, but like, nothing has been revealed yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just two reapers. Actually, he was just making a lot of noises. Like, I'm not actually sure what happened down there. Yeah, they have a different spot now where they actually commentate. They are not sitting next to us anymore. It's because they are. It's because they were too distracted interviews. by how handsome we are. Exactly. So they were always looking over, and they were a little bit jealous, and they were thinking, and about, I okay, I got how distracted. can I get the same hair? And then they were like, well, we probably should switch locations because this is just getting too distracting. They really just can't follow your hairstyle. They like can't pull it off. I, well, actually, we had Crank asking for a new hairstyle, and I gave him the advice that I can. Be. I'm always happy to bring the Clippers with us to like to work and to help him out there. But he wasn't so sure if he could pull it off. I thought he should try, but I can understand that he's a little bit hesitant. I was hesitant at this first as well. Look at this. First of all, we had three Reapers, and I'm not even sure about that. Like that's. That's a lot of extra DPS for helping out the Hellion pressure, but since he's going bio, I don't really like it. And second of all, he's going bio, and I don't really like it. Mm -hmm. He's going to start stim in just a second. And uh, we'll see how much this Hellion pressure gets done. I would surprised. I am too, and disappointed. Especially in the Terran versus Terran, we see quite a lot of mech from Ryang and uh, with the current meta, and a lot of Zerg Wait a minute. is going against... Uh, what? Oh, sorry. I thought he—I thought he canceled Stim for a second. I was like, "Whoa, what is he doing?" But now he's just not. Nah, it's still there. He needs to start those. I think he was trying to decide if he wanted to like start a fourth command center, or, like add two barracks. Why are those SCVs just sitting there? It's not—it's not a tough choice. 
I mean, if this goes into a normal game, it's going to be quite interesting to see how True is going to play that if he doesn't commit to 45, 50 Overlords. Because then he has a much better shot at really taking Ryang on in the first few fights. And he's going into a huge amount of Zerglings again with the Baneliness. And look at his drone count, it's only at 38 and he cut the drone production completely. Do you yeah. actually think I think that he's going to go for an aggressive, bust yeah, I think he is two man. Truce. He's a Peter Panzer. Uh oh. Okay, never mind. Could have actually caught those Hellions. If the Hellions weren't paying attention, and he was at the same time. Ryung's like onto this. He sees all the links with his Hellions, and he's like, I'm making a double eBay wall at the front and try me. Widow Mine's coming up as well. The one thing he's really missing is a Siege Tank if he yep. wants to defend against this type of wall. And look at this. Those links are at the same place they were hiding last time. Uh, of course, a different map, but like the same style. I think he's just going to do it. He stays on 38 Harvesters. He's not making a single one more. 14 more links, 16 more links. He's controlling this in Lager Watchtowers. I really like how True approaches this. But Ryung saw already all the links he had before the, the next wave was started. So he's got to feel like... <sighs> if, no, no, no. Re if Ryung reali would realize how much he's committing to this, he would enforce this wall even more than he is already. There would be barracks being built right out of the front. I don't. It, he saw probably that there were a lot of Zerglings, but I don't think he sees what a heavy commitment that is. If he would have seen that, that wall would have been much better than it is. I would love to see a shot of that wall, by the way. Uh, I, I think it's just two eBays and a bunker. Yeah. Like literally, I don't even think the eBays. He doesn't there have were to widow target. mines, but oh yeah, that, that's this wall is this is not going out. That scan is too late. Now he has to somehow defend with the units that he's got. He cannot change what he has there. The bailings, they bust through. Ryang is immediately supply blocked. Nice hit with a uh, with a widow mine there. The lift immediate, and he's trying to hold the top of his wall, and that could actually work. He he's kind of he's kind of old. Yeah. He's not going to die, but he's the damage has been done. True has to transition though. I think he's oh, not yeah, going to win the game with this. He did already. He built 20 harvesters. Yeah. I mean, like, also into Lair Tech. Does he even have that? I don't think he does. No, no, no. He play, He stayed on... He, you can't get Lair Tech with that. Yeah. You need to go... In, you have to with three bases, and you need to play that without Lair. You really rush that out. You try you to do to as much now, damage though. as possible. But he's transitioning now straight into more Harvesters, and he's at 55 against 33 because of it. God, I would love to see those taps now. Structures lost. How many Harvesters did you lose? Uh, I think he lost about 20. Because it doesn't really look like it was really worth it. No, for I true. don't think so. I don't think it was at all. I the widow mine hits were okay. Like the widow mine was what changed a lot. a lot, and then he lost those bands. Had he not lost those bands, could have gone to the main base and maybe even tried to to do critical damage. Yeah. We have one engineering bay in the main base still that's being used for the plus one attack upgrade now again for Ryang. True is already going into double upgrades, but still. Oh, look at True, he's one again, 166 overlords. He built a ton of those in, uh, just a few seconds ago. Uh, he won't need any overlord, well, a few later on, but so far he's fine, he's at 20. Think about that, he had like, how many max supply did he have in the last game then? 400 nearly. Yeah, nearly. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, this is uh, a few of his overlords already starting to go down. He 68 harvesters against 40. He needs to start the armor. Ryung, that is. He can afford it. He uh, doesn't have the second engineering bay. He, he, does. He, does. he does. He rebuilt it in his main base. He rebuilt two in his main. He had only one at first, but now he has the second one. Oh, okay. So he could start it, which I'm a little bit surprised he didn't, because he ad consciously added the second one. So I thought he, he has the resources still there. there. Yep. Yeah. And uh, this is uh, well, this is a weird game. It's just like. The mid game is not at the mid game that it's you would normally see in this matchup. This drop will be deterred. But okay, he has unless he doesn't come over right away, that is. Actually. He has the drop right now, and there are no meterless, so it's really difficult for him to, to make anything happen here again. That. So right now, there we go. It's not really sniping the banings as well as he could, but he still has the marines there. But this is too many. This is too much. But still, he's containing the pressure. Comes over here to the left side. As long as he has medivacs to lift up into, like you said. Mugulus or the lack of Mugulus is a problem. This is something that Ryang should really try to abuse as much as he can right now. The lack of Mugulus and just using his medivacs as much as he can, being very active on the map, always falling back once this army comes in. He doesn't even have the bit need to have the bigger army. Just the mobility alone will already help him. And he has once again units in the main base of his opponent. Oh, just moving back, did he lose all of the marines or what is that? No, he's dropping something. There we go. On the low ground, I guess maybe a mistake, either that or he wants to bait some of the units over and then kill them from the low ground. This base will finally be able to land. Ryung is uh, basically blocked by creep for a really long time. 
The plus one armor now finally on the way, halfway done. No armory though for continuing upgrades. Ouch, that was not a good Baneling trade. I don't even know what those Baneling are doing over there. This base actually may be forced to cancel. Nope. Yeah, needs to pick up and move back again. Still, once again, no mutalisks, and he's fine. And you know, this base is already very low in hit points, and that basically means that at any point he can drop in again and can just. He's got a ground later. force walking in. He's gonna yeah. definitely get it. And also, killing this mutalisk, by the way, which we just saw on screen, is also awesome if your opponent is this low in mutalisk count. I doesn't really want to commit yet, but that base is hurting already. Well, as long as he's not mining from it, Rayong doesn't care too much. And he's got this force that he can stop mining with from the low ground, actually. Drop over here at the main base will kill some of these harvesters. Yeah, another drop to the top left. The mutalists, they don't really know not what a whole to lot attack of them. first. There's only seven, so... And now the fourth base is being attacked. Goodbye, Hatch. Oh! Marauder's trying to shoot it, but he changes targets for a minute and... Nice. That Widow was... Mine's taking out, uh, taking out the Banelings. Good job there. Goodbye, Hatch. Sends one drop again into the main base. There are mutalists to intercept. Uh, but they actually go the wrong way. Oh god, he's losing way too many Mutalists here. Now he's back in the wall. There's no Banelings here. They're coming in. Finally, but already a good trade for Ryung. Now he can get out, drop onto the low ground, and then fight the Mutalists. Yeah, moves back right away. The drop is going into the main once more. Something that Drew already identified. He sent the Queen over there immediately. Now the Zerglings are on their way back. The Queen is going down. More Marines in the middle of the map, taking down a few Zerglings and also Mutalists. Good job so far by Ryung. He's ahead in overall army supply. That looks pretty good what he's currently doing here. That drop in the main base is also still doing damage. Nice lift against those Banelings. Good splits there. Losing, of course, a few SCVs. But, but not in very general, many. a really good job by Ryung. Oh. Ryung is up in army supply here and he wants to continue to use that. Look at the lack of free spread. There's like nothing on the map. Yeah, the 2-2 is going to be faster for Truer. Ryung is trying to catch up in the upgrades. But in general, the Zerg play is very, very pressured by what Ryung is doing. Ryung, 37 Marines. How many Marauders does he actually have in his composition this time? I want to know. I don't think he has very many, again. No. Just, uh, just like what we saw. Previously. I'm not sure if he has any left. He had a few at the beginning, but um, he start, he produced Marines only for a long, long time. He might not have any Marauders yeah, left. Yeah, he doesn't. Yep. Only Marines, 47 now. So many Widow Mines to support as well, and very few Mutalists. Well, actually, now he's up to 17. The Mutalist count did get up there. <laughs> uh, does he have any Overseers to help spot against the Widow Mines? The Widow Mines going to be a big issue with this many of them. And he's going to go for a counterattack. There's not only are these SVs not rally, but there's no turrets. And this could do a lot. This could really do a lot of damage. You're completely right. There's not a lot of anti against the 17 mutalists, and this is going to hit hard. Those few missile turret attempts are too late. He's going to lose a lot, but that's also the cue that he uses to immediately go up against his opponent's third base. And with a few marines as reinforcements being at the third, he can defend there, but the natural is also not defended. Oh, Ryung also losing a lot of marines over here. We've got still a few more widow mines here, but. No defense, no answer for the Mutalist. 17 Mutalists is all it takes to destroy Ryung's chances of, of blinding <laughs> at his bases. In the main, main base, base no nothing. turrets either. Nothing. Wow, Ryung really Very skipping sloppy on those on that. missile turrets. Not even Banelings, uh, sorry, Widow Mines over there. And suddenly, True is in a position where he can change things immediately. There's only 29 Harvesters left, and even with the triple CC, that is going to get very difficult. Kills the Overseer here. Which Saves the Widow Mines for another day. A few of these Widow Mines actually being killed on the retreat path. And this group of units will be cleaned up as well. Good attempt to drop on the high ground there behind the rocks where the mainlings can't actually fight. Two more medivacs going down though. And the medivac count is down to four. And four medivacs for 44 marines, that's not really a good ratio. No, definitely not. Especially against this many mainlings and 15 more. 11 drones being added as well as he resecures his base in the middle of the map. One Widow Mine over here with tw uh, 12 hit points and five kills is still lurking around and actually if he unburrowed it might be able to identify the hatchery but even if he knew could he really harass it directly that's the question mutalisk are going into the main base again there is still nothing and they're starting to camp his opponent's production there are only a few marines scds are dying once more and ryang has a big problem stabilizing here yep he's got uh, plus three attack on the way so that's one thing he's trying to get out that's one Maybe tiny way he can he got to win if he can get three three or at least just three plus three attack. He can maybe take some engagements with a low marine count. He's he's down, you know, really in the workers more so than the army. Uh, and he's losing way more here. He's just barely even mining at these bases. Finally, maybe trap the mutilus. No. no, not quite. They're gonna nice get their way out here. Really nice well jukes. 
And well, we have another drop at that fourth base, but there are too many links and Bane links. Talking about Bane links, that's 63 Bane links. Wow. He will not make an infestation pit. He will not. Yeah, oh, uh -oh. that's a problem. That was eight mutas that died there. Bad. And he might. Too much. Oh, that was. Plus another one. Yeah. This Ryung. is going to be cleaned up. Ryung's economy is still trash, but. He has only had half the economy. He loses another medivac there. Only the plus three attack upgrade. Arm upgrade not started. Ryung is lacking the resources. 44 more lings on the way so that he can make more banelings because he's the Peter Panzer. That expression is horrible. I'm sorry, but it's really bad. <laughs> uh, we have another base at the top left now. That's base number five. And he's getting more painlings. This is what he does, man. He just does not get... He will not get a hive in this game. He won't do it. How many does he get, though? Like, uh, how far is he going? And 74. This is, you know, this is why actually a siege tank or, like, anything that could do damage against painlings would be great here. 71 already. That base is already dead. Nice drop here by Ryung. The three year, three year has been started. The arm upgrade it is. The attack upgrade is of course nearly, nearly completed now. Didn't cancel, right? Oh uh, no. The uh, what's done? Yeah. Medivac is gone, but uh, still getting a hatchery for that. Not so bad. Oh. But still, this this 68 banelings walking across the map will kill everything in sight. Well, 68 plus 22 is 90. That is absolutely disgusting. 90 Bane links he'll have. More than that. Four more. 94. That is insane. Here we go. Widowmind City over here. Yep, and the Bane links moving in. The 70 are still alive. Most of the Marines gone. 28 Marines are still there. The Widowmind's trying to get the hits off. We still have 50 Bane links. He's just rallying Bane links across the map. Think about three siege tanks on the high ground here. Just a few Marauders in the army. With Pure Marine, this is the answer. Oh my Plain God. and simple. GG. True wins it, and we will have a maximum of four Terrans in Kodas. And Terran versus Terran as the loser's match, and a Zerg versus Zerg as the winner's match. I'm really disappointed we didn't see Mech. And Pure Marine, the answer is Pure Baneling. Especially when you're down in economy that much, you don't have turrets up in your main base. Yeah, having no turrets in the base, uh, in uh, none of his bases, not only the main, the natural, the third base, there was not a single missile turret. That was very greedy, and he got punished for it. That was a that was a rough game for Ryung. That was not not the best we've ever seen from him. Yeah, I mean, he had a good shot there actually, but then he lost so many harvesters. He didn't have the economy anymore. He had half the income if he didn't really drop like three meals at a time. Didn't have the scans anymore that he wanted, didn't really see what was coming in the banelings, he had no answer for that. Like, no, he definitely didn't. I mean, no amount of splitting was going to help him there against yeah. basically over 100 banelings. <laughs> that seemed like There were the more banelings than marines, and have fun splitting those. That didn't work for him at all. Well, it's the Terran versus Terran in the losers match, and that means we have a maximum of uh, four Terrans in Kodas. We could also, of course, only see three. Depends a lot on the consolation match they're going to have, but the Zerg players are going to duke it out in the winners match now. Yeah, and before we go into that, we're going to have a five-minute break, so stay tuned. See you in a few.